Hey, it's Margaret from Play. Today, we're going to talk about the anatomy of an interaction. Interactions are how you prototype and play, and it all happens in interaction mode, which you can access from this fourth tab. The first part of an interaction is a trigger. This is the input that the user will give that will communicate to the prototype. So you can see in the interactions panel over here, triggers include things like tap or scroll or shake. They also include events like variable changing or the page loading or someone typing into a text field. You'll add the trigger onto an object. You can see here that the tap trigger is on the stack. So if I tap on my iOS device up here, not on that stack, this interaction won't fire. But if I tap on the object where the trigger is placed, the stack, then my interaction will fire. On the trigger, you need to add the action. And this is the response that the prototype will have. If we go over to the actions panel in the interactions panel, you'll see there are a ton of different actions here. Some of them change the appearance of the object. Some of them change the behavior of an object, along with many other things like opening a camera or taking you into the Safari tab. You'll add the action onto the trigger, not onto the object. You see, I try and do this. It's not going to work. Actions have to be added on the trigger. That's the anatomy of a basic interaction in play. A trigger plus an action. But you can go so much further than this. You can have as many actions as you'd like on a single trigger. You can have loops, helpers, anime blocks, all of that. You can open the expression editor and use a code-like interface. This guy is really the limit with play and we can't wait to see what you do with it. Thanks so much for watching this video.